Lauren Strength, uh, he's the manager for Fabiana Corona. What do you think? Um, well, I think Magnus should be very happy and Magnus Van should be very happy because after, well, I would say since the... I don't know what exactly went wrong for Sergei, but he went into this ending, he missed this drawing opportunity and things have just got progressively worse for him. And Magnus has just improved his position move by move. And now they've reached the time control, so they've both got added time, but Magnus will be very happy with the position he has. It's not winning from what I can gather, like objectively, but he can just increase the pressure move by move. He, and what I was explaining before is he's playing on all sides of the board, queen's side in the middle and on the king's side, and that's when it's really dangerous. Um, so, yeah, I would be happy if I was a Magnus fan, but still a, a long fight. Sergei is a battler, as we know, so not over. What do you think of uh, the way they've been playing today, though? There's been a lot of blunders. Yeah, uh, blunders might be strong. I mean, we can call them blunders because they are the best guys in the world. Uh, for people like me, this would just be a normal day at the office. But, uh, yeah, there have been mistakes. They would consider mistakes or inaccuracies. And it's been surprising, actually, how both of them have played to a certain extent. But now that Magnus is in control, this is really his opportunity to to level the match um, and he's going to really work hard at this and believe me Sergei's going to be here for a long time uh, tonight if he's going to defend this. Well uh, Fabiano isn't here today but yeah. if he was I bet he's watching the game. No, for sure. oh, must be horrible to to watch these guys making these mistakes knowing oh, if I was there I wouldn't have done that. Ah uh, you know we uh, we're not we don't think about that too much in the team because Fabiano will have his chance. Uh, he's had a fantastic year, even uh, after the very disappointing result in Moscow, being so close to qualifying for this. The way he's bounced back has been phenomenal. So Fabiano will get his chance. We're not too, we're not too uh, upset about that. But uh, certainly he'll be watching the game. Everybody's watching the game. And I'm just looking at the position now. Sergei's gone completely passive. So, yeah, I, if I had to make a bet, I would, I would bet on Magnus. And then, of course, leveling the match. He's big favourite to win the match. You know, It'd be really difficult for Sergei to to come back, but um, still a long fight. And if Sergei manages to hold, well, anything can happen. So really exciting. Yeah, we've been talking a lot about mental trainers today. Yes. Would that be because uh, we've been talking? Magnus has decided not to do that. Would that be something Fabiano Carana and your team would uh, think of doing? I think it's definitely something we you know that chess players should consider in general because so much of this is psychology. I think that difficulty that uh, chess players have had in general is that to work with sports psychologists or psychologists in general, a lot of them don't know the game of chess at all. And it is a very particular game. It's not a mainstream sport and you can't apply some of the things. But definitely, just like with any sports person, top athlete, looking at all the resources is something you should do. So, yeah, I, I, if, if Team Carlson are, are looking at that too, I mean, definitely wouldn't be surprised. And if Magnus Carlson could get that win today, I guess that would be uh, quite a good mental boost.